how sex can change the world is that sex is one of the key forms of communication. It's a bridge and it's the bridge that brings back bonding and it's bonding that brings back new levels of intimacy and success and where we have that we don't act out you know when we're happy you know we we make love and not war and then the key is not just it's not about sex it's about loving sex where love and sex gets joined back together where we reconnect our genitals and our heart and our heart in our head and our head with heaven so that we're all just, you know, completely in alignment. And so when we make love, we're giving ourselves totally to our partner. It's not about what we're gonna get, it's what we're gonna give. And so then we can totally receive them. And so that we just keep opening and opening to deeper levels and welcoming our partner into our hearts and minds, as well as our bodies. Um, sex reflects life, so how, our, what our sexual pattern is, what our sexual life is, is how we're living our lives. And so sometimes I, you know, by shifting things in sex, it can shift a whole person's life pattern. So it's just realizing that, that powerful flexibility. It's your, it's the base two chakras. It's your vitality and it's your sense of yourself, your sense of self-worth. So, and the second chakra, the sense of self-worth, is the one that's most damaged in the world. It's where there's so much self-attack. But wherever there's love, where there's real sharing of uh, each other, it's like that can change and it can build up that, that self-worth and that self-esteem by how we give ourselves to our partners. So it's like that creative force of sexuality is not always meant for sex. You know, you know, willful people kind of always turn it into sex and we lose the energy out that second chakra, but it's meant to go up and be fired for success. It's meant to go up and be love. It's meant to go up and be, you know, impersonal love where we love everyone. It's meant to be our sense of vision. It's meant to be our opening to grace and enlightenment. So there's so many things that sex is meant for. But it, most people are just so repressed with sex, they're only running at about 20% of their sexual energy. And so they've cut down their life force. They've cut down that, that kind of color and glimmer in the world. And, and it's time to get it back, not to exaggerate sex in pornography, but to have sex be natural. Sex is a natural act. It's like eating or drinking or sleeping. You know, what's the big deal? The ego has attached so much guilt and shame to it, so we use this powerful force for transformation, and you know we buried it, we made it redundant, we turned it into areas of judgment and guilt. It's so untrue, you know. It's just it's just this natural act, and it can be this natural act of giving and healing, and receiving. It's an act of love, and that's what how sex is meant to be. It's meant to be reconnected with our hearts. So, you know, welcome your sex back. How many steps did you take back from sex? You know, it's time to take those steps back up to sex and welcome back how, whatever percentage you threw away. Time to open the door to sex again. And if you're afraid of integrity issues, put your higher mind in charge of it or put heaven in charge of your sexuality so that you act truly and natural with it and that you use it for that creativity, that creative force, that beauty that will come through, that charisma, that energy that's, that's meant for you and for the world. You know, when you attract people because of your charisma, it's not about to meet your needs. You know, it's not about you going, hey, and taking, you know, it's like Italian foreplay, hey. You know, it's not, it's about you showing people the way home where there's more joy and everybody succeeds more. It's time to bring it back to love. It's time to bring sex back to our hearts. Thank you.